Hi, it's Tara, day 53 of the 90 day mental, emotional, spiritual wellbeing series. I'm going to talk a little bit about the elements today, the elements of air, water, fire and earth in particular. There's so much around this in Chinese philosophy, in Indian philosophy. Um, and, and if you look up anything to do with the elements as well, in terms of dance and movement and the flow and how, how we are connected. So just some things around that. Um, fire energy, for example, is, as you can imagine, heated, right? Very kind of hot, energetic, moving, dynamic. And sometimes we can express that in our body as well. The kind of the passion, the rage, the kind of the frustration even, just wanting to you know push through and get things done. Very kind of earth, very kind of fire energy. So just kind of notice where, what, when that's happening, because, you know, if there's something which isn't quite going where you want it to go, you can think about this in terms of elements and then change it. So earth, as you can imagine, is very grounded and stable and solid and connected and steady. So that's that's another real, you know, and we, we can do that. We can change all of these with our breathing, by the way. So breathing pattern for fire would be just in through the nose and out through the nose quite fast. And you're going to feel that intention build up inside of you just for a few short breaths. Grounded would be more deeper, more kind of from from the gut. So nice deep breaths and out. So you just feel really rooted and you can imagine your body posture as well. It's very stable, shoulders pinned back, head up, you know, just very kind of strong arms and legs water energy is very flowing as you can imagine water is so it's very free and flowing and it's it's quite playful it's it's quite curious it's quite um meandering so it's it's very creative um did i say creative um flowing creative and very um there's power in that it's not it's not necessarily gentle. There's a, there's a there's a power in the force of water and how it's moving. So, you know, any time you're feeling quite low in energy, it's it's great to just kind of move your body in a very sort of free flowing, playful, very it's very feminine energy as well. So, just you know, it's it's really this why you know when you're kind of swaying while you're thinking or just having that kind of movement going on. Just getting things moving is it's a really great antidote to the to the earth energy, which is very stable. And the air energy as well is 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 quite light. It's quite freeing. It's, it's there's a lot of um, there's a lot of dynamism as well. If you imagine wind and the air blowing, and it's you know it can be quite chaotic in a sense because it can there's no direction. It can go in any way. So if you've got quite a lot of kind of air energy and you're just finding that there's not, you can't pin anything down, things are kind of just moving and coming and going in and out. And um, it can be quite, quite high up here as well, the air energy. Then again, you know, looking at different elements to get what you want from that. So if you want more fire, then more passion, go into the fire energy. If you've been stuck for quite a while, that grounded energy, you might want to be morph more into the free flowing um, water or air. So there's a few different things to start exploring and thinking about and, and just seeing where, um, how, how we're feeling, how our mood is, um, what our thought processes are as well so we've got kind of repetitive repetitive kind of stuck thoughts how can we move our body to change that state if we're feeling quite anxious and chaotic again what can we do with our breathing and our body to change that state so a few things for for you hopefully that's been hopeful um helpful and useful and interesting and it's something else that you can do just with the breathing with your body movements with dance with just the way the thought processes that you have, you know, just being aware of it and being aware of the other ones in contrast 
and using that to shift whatever state you want. I'll talk to you in the next video.